which teammate do you think would most likely become a coach after playing? I would say Buster. He's always talking the game, you know, always thinking ahead in situations and everything, and always really has an answer for all the different types of scenarios and stuff that goes on, and he can really speak well on it. Which teammate do you think would most likely be a TV broadcaster? Uh, John Brebbia. That's his personality. You know, very talkative person. Speaks very well, too. I could see John doing it. He's, a, he's an entertainer, too, so. Do you feel more pressure as a leadoff hitter, or do you feel really comfortable in the role as a leadoff hitter? Um, I like leadoff hitter because sometimes you, you get that fastball down the middle that they're just trying to get over for strike one, and the leadoff batter sets the tone for how our lineup's going to come out that night. What's your favorite away ballpark? Minnesota. I like, I like Minnesota. Playing there for two years was pretty cool, too, so I really like Minnesota. Who is your favorite athlete outside of baseball? LeBron. Just the longevity he played, what he does outside in the community, too. I mean, the way he can play at such a high level at his age, I think that's pretty cool and somebody to look up to, I guess. And what about in baseball? I was a big fan of Adam Jones growing up in Baltimore. You know, watching him play center field and just the way he played every day. Getting to meet him one time and play against him in spring training. I mean, getting to compete against a guy like that, who's somebody you watched on TV, is always kind of cool and special. But then at the end of the day, you still want to beat him. Is there a specific moment you remember really clearly from your MLB debut? Well, my mom and dad and my brother being there. I made my debut in Chicago, so they flew out to Chicago against the White Sox. So much adrenaline, just excitement. <laughs> First major league at bat, I got hit by a pitch. And this one hits Lamont Wade Jr. in his major league debut. Yeah, no, that's what I remember the most. Who is your hero? Well, my mom and dad. I mean, you can always rely on them. And just, you know, just the love and care that they always give me and my brother and uh, the rest of our family and everybody. They've always been there for me, always will be. Do you think you're more like your mom or your dad? Uh, probably more like my dad. Quiet, calm. My, my brother's like my mom, crazy, loud. What was going through your mind when you knew that your mom was right there for your splash hit? I just thought it was real funny because I could just always see her just walking around because she can't sit still. For her to be over there, it really didn't surprise me, but I did get a kick out of it, just looking up there and seeing how excited she was and everything, and how she tried to go get the ball even though it was in the water. It was, <laughs> I was laughing pretty good. We got the ball the next day, actually. I traded a bat for it, so it was a good trade. I hear you're a really good ping pong player. Yeah. How good of a ping pong player yeah. are we talking? For my 16th birthday, my mom and dad got me a ping pong robot because they were tired of me asking to play against them. Yeah, I would always play on the robot, and they eventually started going to some tournaments, maybe six. I think I won two. I was pretty good. I played some of the guys in spring training. Well, not really any of the guys. I played more of the staff, like JP. But JP can't beat me. I heard Flo's pretty good. So at some point, I have to play Flo. Do you still have the robot? Oh, yeah. My mom even got a new one. But now she's really into it. So she goes all around plays, too. So yeah, we, got a, we have two robots now. What was your first concert you ever attended? Oh, I went to a Shaggy concert. Uh, freshman year at the University of Maryland. My only concert I've been to. It wasn't really, <laughs> wasn't really my style. What's your favorite show to binge watch? Uh, the Office, but they took it off of Netflix, so I'm trying to find something else. But The Office for sure. Almost positive I might get Peacock tonight, though, just because I'm missing it, so. Who's your favorite character on The Office? Uh, Dwight. Just the way he acts around the office. I can see some people like in the clubhouse and stuff like that, doing stuff like that. So Dwight's pretty cool. Who do you think would play you in a movie about yourself? Uh, I'm going to go Will Smith. Oh. oh, that's hot. That's hot. Will Smith's in a lot of good ones I like. I, Robot, I Am Legend. I like I Am Legend. Pursuit of Happiness. Least favorite animal. Oh, cats. I don't know, any time a cat gets close, I kind of get creeped out by them. I always think that they're trying to like claw you and they're always staring at you, all like mean and everything like that. Dog guy for sure, not, not the cats. Can't deal with the cat. Staple in your fridge? Oh, you gotta have passion fruit. The uh, Welch's drinks, gotta have passion fruit in there. At least two or three. Always drinking passion fruit. How many alarms do you typically set in the morning or times you press snooze? 
I, I don't set an alarm usually. I usually just wake up on my own. And that's never messed you up? You've never been late? Never. Knock on wood, but nah, I don't usually set an alarm. What video game are you the best at? Oh, NBA 2K. I play 2K every night online. You got different tiers and I'm at the highest tier, so I was pretty good at it. Do you show up at the airport right before boarding or do you like to get there real early? I like to get there early so I can eat. Less stressful too, you're not rushing. Don't really like to be rushed, so. Window seat or aisle seat? Uh, window, window. I like to sleep up against it. Although it is uncomfortable, but I sleep up against it. What's the best Halloween costume you've ever had? Um, I was the uh, average Joe's, uh, like the dodgeball. I was uh, one of the average Joe's people. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then we faced off against the Globo Trotters, whatever they were called. We had five per team, so it was like 10 of us. So it was pretty cool. What would be your go-to karaoke song? <laughs> I would probably choose Fireflies by Owl City. Heard it in low A, really liked it. Know all the words. What is your favorite holiday? Uh, New Year's, because it's my birthday. From Christmas and then New Year's being right there. So we usually get both my presents on Christmas, which was cool. Who's the funniest person on the team? <laughs> Brebbia. He opened up spring training with like a, and this is before I even knew John, and he just, first day, gets up there in front of everybody and just gives us a whole funny like SNL skit and just to open up camp like that on that kind of note. And he's the, he does the same thing every single day. I mean, he's just cool, funny guy. What's your biggest pet peeve? I would say if I don't make my bed, I, when I come back home, I gotta have my bed made. So if I don't make my bed uh, whenever I leave the house, I kind of get mad at myself a little bit. I'll probably say I do it five out to seven days a week. Those two days are just, can't do it. What is a skill or talent that you wish you had? I kind of wish I could sing, like an R&B singer, like Usher or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah.